what's going on Island Hoppers today we're coming to you from Corpus Christi Texas let's begin all right guys here we are coming to you from the Gulf Coast of Texas right down in the bottom of America really as some people like to call this area the third coast the Gulf Coast the Pacific Coast and the Atlantic Coast well this is the Gulf Coast Corpus Christi has a population of 330,000 people, but if you include the entire metropolitan population, 450,000 people live in Corpus Christi. In this Corpus Christi travel guide, we're going to take you down to North Padre Island where there is actually a national uh, preserve and a beach with campgrounds. We'll show you guys around there. And we'll also be taking you around the downtown area and the U.S. Naval Aircraft Carrier that has been placed here, USS Lexington. Corpus Christi is certainly one of the oldest cities in America, discovered in 1519 by Spanish galleons. The reason they call it Corpus Christi is because he discovered it on the day of Corpus Christi, which means the body of Christ. As you can see here, we're walking around the Corpus Christi waterfront. And also, if you guys are enjoying this Corpus Christi, Travel Guide, please consider liking the video, subscribing to the channel, and turning on the bell to get notified when we make a new video. Right here in Corpus Christi, the hometown of Selena Perez, who was the uh, main voice behind Tejano music back in the 90s. This is a memorial dedicated to her. So we got some oysters here. We got some horseradish, some lime, a bit of lime, a little bit of tobacco. Well, probably a lot because there we go. Whoa! Let's give it a whirl here. Now when you come down to Harrison Landing, you can also do a dolphin watching tour. You can see right here on the Japonica boat tours. 
$18.95 for an adult, $13.95 for kids under 11. You wanna do a party, private party? Up to 35 people, but hey, right here in Corpus Christi, in the Gulf of Mexico, to go see some dolphins. As you can see, there's lots of golf seagulls over here that like to get their beaks on some bread or something that you're willing to throw towards them. Uh, also, you can see the lime scooter is another way to get around that there. Uh, beach walk all up and down Corpus Christi. And you can see this water feature here in front of the convention center just next to the art museum. All right, what we're gonna do now is we're gonna go across the bay here, the port, and we're gonna head over and take a look at the USS Lexington, uh, US Naval aircraft carrier that's been memorialized here in Corpus Christi. This area here is actually known as North Beach. It's one of the more popular areas to go to the beach when you come to Corpus Christi. Uh, they also have an aquarium over here if that was uh, something you might be interested in taking the kids to or just checking out with your friends. Here we are at the USS Lexington Museum. We're gonna go up onto the ship and show you what it looks like on an old US Navy aircraft carrier. This old relic is a great piece of history, able to show people what it's like to live and work and even transit on a U.S. Naval aircraft carrier. Obviously this is an older uh, vessel, but you still get to see the berthings, the flight deck, the hangar bay, and what type of aircrafts would have been on an aircraft carrier back during uh, this ship's heyday.
Here we are on North Beach, which is considered the best beach in all of Corpus Christi. You can see, you get in the water. The Gulf of Mexico is usually warm. The problem is, it's kind of murky. With that being said, you gotta watch out for the stingrays and the jellyfish. When you come to North Beach, you can rent jet skis. And one of the most popular things that people actually do here is kite surf or wind surf. Uh, actually, Corpus Christi is one of the windiest places for kite surfing and uh, wind surfing anywhere on earth. They even had the wind surfing national championship for the world here in Corpus Christi. And when you come to Corpus Christi, you can also go to the Texas State Aquarium Wildlife Rescue, which you can see right behind me. Here we are on Padre Island. We just went to Whitecap Beach. Now we're gonna go down here to the Padre Island Natural Preserve. So here we are in the Padre Island uh, National Park. If you're a veteran, obviously it's free. If not, you have to pay the entrance fee, which I think is about $10 per vehicle. Uh, if you look behind me, you can see the campground. This is Malachite Campground. Now, the beach is protected by the uh, dunes on the other side. So camping over here protected by the dunes, the beach protected by the dunes. We're gonna go walk down there, but do be careful. They have these little burr cactuses to get in your feet. One thing's for sure, if I had a little bit more time, I'd love to spend a couple days hanging out, camping at this place, at least 24 hours at this campground.
this area you're looking out right behind me, this area can get hit with hurricanes because when those hurricanes are churning over the Gulf of Mexico, by the time they get to Corpus Christi or Padre Island, they're making a direct hit. In fact, in 1919, one of the most powerful hurricanes on record hit right here in Padre Island and Corpus Christi area. It was actually the fourth largest hurricane uh, devastation wise in all of the country. Number four. You wanna know what else Corpus Christi gave America and the world? What a burger since 1950. Let's go in here. And on that note, after enjoying a Whataburger, which was all right at this location, I've had better Whataburgers around the country than this particular location, just saying. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed this Corpus Christi travel guide, and we'll see you on the next one. Watch some more of these other videos.